Now, what is NFV or Network Functions Virtualization? This is one of multiple videos discussing SDN, network programmability, network automation, overlays and related technologies. This is also one of multiple videos discussing various terms and definitions you'll encounter with those technologies. Now again, you'll find various definitions of NFV. I'm gonna start with the original definition which you can find in this white paper. This document was published in 2012 at the SDN and OpenFlow World Congress in Germany. And it's available on this URL. Before I jump into the document, think of NFV as taking functions that are traditionally available and deployed as hardware devices and deploying them as software that runs typically on x86 hardware. So if you want a firewall function, you'll virtualize that and run that on a server. So in this document, the definition of NFV is as follows. NFV aims to transform the way that network operators architect networks by evolving standard IT virtualization technology to consolidate many network equipment types onto industry standard high volume servers, switches and storage, which are located in data centers. So it involves the implementation of network functions in software that can run on a range of industry standard server hardware and that can be moved to or instantiated in various locations in the network as required without the need for installation of new equipment. So to put that into more understandable English, think of it as follows. In the past, when you deployed a firewall you would purchase a physical network device, such as a Cisco ASA. If you wanted to deploy a PE router, you would buy a physical router. If you wanted to implement a session border controller or a load balancer or some other type of a network function, you would buy a piece of hardware. Now that's what the compute world or server world did many years ago. When they wanted to deploy an email server, they would go and purchase a physical server, install an operating system on that server, and then install an email server application such as Exchange on the server. If they wanted a database server, they would buy a physical server, install an operating system such as Windows, and then install a database server application such as SQL on that physical server. They were buying physical servers, each of which was providing perhaps one or two functions or features to a enterprise, such as email or database or file services. However, with the advent of VMware, that changed entirely. These days, what you do is you install a hypervisor on a server, and then you run virtual machines on a server. That's kind of where NFV starts. With NFV, rather than buying a physical router to provide routing functionality or a physical firewall to provide firewall functionality, you run a virtual appliances on standard high volume servers. In other words, you would run a virtual machine providing routing capability or providing firewall capability. That gives you the ability to use vMotion in VMware as an example to move a router or a firewall dynamically. You can instantiate or bring up these network functions very, very quickly, rather than having to purchase a firewall and then wait for it to be delivered, you simply spin up a virtual machine. So rather than having a physical router or a physical firewall, you have a virtual router or a virtual firewall. In this example, I've got a physical server with an IP address of 192.168.1.242 that's running VMware ESXi. I have multiple virtual machines hosted on this single physical server. So as an example, I've got a Cisco call manager running on this physical server. 
but in addition I've got multiple Cisco CSRs. In this case CSR 1000 Vs running on this VMware server. These are virtual routers. So I would be able to configure these routers in the same way that I would configure a physical router. Show IP OSPF neighbor as an example shows OSPF neighbor relationships between this virtual router and physical routers in the network. So from this virtual router, I could telnet to a physical router. This is a Cisco 1941 physical Cisco router. But it has OSPF neighbor relationships to the virtual router running within ESXi. So I can exit back to my virtual router. You can see that this virtual router has two gigabit interfaces running in OSPF. You can see the IP addresses configured on this virtual router. So I can run multiple virtual routers on a physical ESXi server in the same way that I can run virtual machines on this ESXi server. So rather than doing what we did in the past, where we buy physical network devices to provide a function such as firewalling or load balancing or session border controllers or whatever network function you want, you now, through NFV, run a virtual appliances on standard high volume servers to provide those same functions. A Cisco virtual CSR gives you functions in the same way that a physical Cisco ASR router would. There may obviously be differences in feature set, but the idea is that a virtual router or a virtual appliance gives you features in the same way that we have virtual machines replacing physical servers. These days, companies don't deploy every server as a physical server. They deploy virtual machines on high end physical servers using virtualization technology such as VMware ESXi or KVM or Zen. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.